Scorpios, welcome to your heart spread here for the end of October time frame. This is to read the one that's on your mind and in your heart. Eight card spread. Looks at you and your person, how you're doing together. Get some advice on you personally and advice on the um, relationship as a whole and the outcome state cards. So I've already shuffled. That's kind of late here. Always on Thursdays, and even if it's late, is um, going to be Libra and Scorpio Day. I also have the singles read. Meet the soulmate. If you have friends that are super single, totally single, maybe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Appreciate it. Also, the Soul Family Collective read for whoever resonates up every day. See if uh, you relate to that. Like Terrence McKenna, find the others type of energy. But right now, let's look at you and this person that you're thinking about so much. Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy in and around relationships where your mind and heart is at here in this uh, end of October time frame. Um, it's a fantastic energy to be in. Um, I kind of read this as to get a baseline of where you're at, a little bit separate from how you're doing with your person. And then I read them. This is where they're at. Boy, that could be any different. Nine of Swords energy. Uh, where they're at, in and around relationships, a little bit separated from you here. This is their own energy, a baseline of where they are at. So this is about a past relationship or an ongoing relationship, if they're still in it, could be. Um, but it could not be any different. The Queen of Pentacles is strong, self-contained. Um, uh, this is, is a, no way that this isn't the energy it's not meant to be a, a reading for friends, but it's your intention. This position over here, I've used it for the higher self. I had that reading a few weeks ago. I could find uh, angels here, you know, ancestral angels I look for in relationships with them. So it could be anything you want, but there's no way to see this other than a, a person coming to you, possibly not yet as lovers, but maybe, with the energy, and you know, this is not that uncommon, of because you're seen as being so strong of course they come to you uh, Scorpio you're the one probably everyone comes to and they put their they put their problems in your lap there where your you know, pinnacle is and they're like please help me and you stroke their head and they're like oh geez you know what am I you know a genie in a bottle here that kind of energy and here's this nine of swords energy uh, I, I gotta have the feeling almost of naturally coming to you they're haunted by these ghosts hopefully you can see that so these things in their own mind just literally haunting them, haunting them. Um, I just, I see it really kind of stroking their hair, stroking their hair, you know. It's like they're that, at that level. There's someone like they're almost on their knees. They could be sobbing. This is a heck of a start. Wow. Okay, this is your energy. How you're feeling uh, to them. I'm getting the weirdest feeling right now. And I gotta be honest, in my head. It cannot be that cold here. I'm in Cancun, Mexico. Opened everything up because it was pretty warm. And yeah, I like it to be open. It's nice to have some fresh air. We're not that far from the beach. But um, it's just cold air. It just hit me right in the back of the head. I don't even want to turn around because I can feel it. But I'm protected. I have a worry. I don't know the tower, man. Uh, I got to look at how they're reacting to you now. And the king of pinnacles. Wow. Holy moly. It, I, I understand this at one level very well. Okay. For them, the way they're reacting to you is they're leveling up. And they're basically saying to you, um, it, it doesn't have to be a man, woman. This can, doesn't necessarily, I think, with them have to be them wanting to be a dominant in any way, but they're basically saying in terms of you, they want to meet you where you're at. Like they want, they want you make them feel like the king of pentacles when in reality they're feeling like they're nine of swords. Now, the only down thing with this, I hope it's not at your expense because now here you come with the tower. So the, in order for them to feel like the king of pentacles, does your life have to crash and burn, Scorpio? Leave me a comment, because I don't know exactly what that means, but this may not have happened yet. But it doesn't have to be that way. But the only other way I see this being is if now this person comes along 
and you're like there, there. And again, they was a sexual coworker. And now as you get to know them, now you're all falling for them, getting the feels. And they come back and say to you, uh, I'm going to get divorced and I'm going to get my shit together and I'm going to marry you because I know you're the one and I know you found me in this horrible place, but you make me realize that there's really nothing to feel bad about. Uh, I was done wrong or whatever and I've let it go and now I'm solid for you. Best case scenario. And then your marriage comes apart because maybe you were in a marriage, Scorpio. I mean, you're the queen of pentacles. You're doing fine. This would be something that came along. Tower, Uranus energy. Uh, Taurus now, 14 degrees. <laughs> Opposing my Venus, don't I know? Jeez. Oh, At the same time, Saturn squares my Venus. Talk about T-square from hell. So, you know, but hey, I'm dealing with it. That's all right. I want to get like six views on my soul family this morning. And I was like, man, when I first started, it's like a freaking year ago. I used to get like 20 views or 30 views the very first day. And it's like, oh my God. It's like, man, I think I just got to sit with it. Keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm telling you, man, it's got to give. Um, but the tower here, man, it's that kind of thing where you've got those transits and stuff and your things are out of your control. And if Uranus is in your seventh house or something or crossing your DC or conjuncting your Venus, squaring your Venus, opposing your Venus, you know, shit can come down. Marriages can come down in that kind of energy. And it comes down. It's like the smallest thing. It's like this literally could have started with just, just stopping at their desk to, hey, I see you're, you're not doing too good. What's going on, Bob? What's going on, Mary? You know, and the next thing you know, they're fucking telling you. And you're like, oh, man, you know. And they're like, you know, hey, well, you don't want to go to lunch. You know, we're going out to lunch. And you're talking some more because they naturally were crying. You're so Scorpio. You know everything about relationships, you know might not tell anyone, you're telling anyone about you, <laughs> but you uh, you probably know anything about this person, <laughs> more, more about them than they know, but on the other hand, yeah, maybe that didn't end well for you, because maybe you're interested in them, yeah, two case scenarios, three of wands, well, this is your advice from spirit, Scorpio, towards your person here that you're thinking of, and with the three of wands, that's a call to action, that's to take action, you know, continue forward. It's coming under the tower. It's, you know, I you watch Tarot, you've heard this a million times. The tower falls for a reason. The foundation was unstable and it had to come down. You didn't want to do it yourself. You were kind of sitting in your comfort zone, you know, but if this shit happened, if the Uranus transits your seventh house and your marriage fails, it's because your marriage was meant to fail because it did have a weak foundation and it is for the best and it equals freedom and uh, could be in order to get this person who, look, you're the king and queen of pentacles. It's the perfect match. That's just the perfect match. No matter if you're gay or not, it's the perfect match for a romantic relationship. <laughs> you could be the man and they could be the woman. That's not, that's totally not the point. But it's perfect. You guys would be perfect together. Wow. And they're getting the Queen of Wands. Wow. I'm tell I'm seeing this with them to pour it on. It's like um you're gonna get the advice from the three of wands and they're getting the advice of the Queen of Wands. This is such a lovely Queen of Wands. I love this card in this deck. Just look at that and see how does that make you feel, Scorpio? I don't even know anything about astrology. And this is the advice that Spirit giving your person about you. And it's coming under the King of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you what, uh, when Spirit tells you this, and this is also passion too, I should say, fire and passion. You're being literally told by Spirit to get it on, to, to really allow your passion. This is Leo energy too. This is fifth house. This is fun sex. This is romance. This is fire here, Leo fire. And here, Scorpio, you might have Sag fire. I'm a Sag. Yeah. Sag Mars, you freaky deaky Scorpio. <laughs> Give me a Scorpio with a Sag Mars, you know. That's going to be something. So, it's advice from spirit. You know, I remember I had a client. I told her she's 74. And finally said, can I talk to you about sex? She's like, yeah. I said, you know, you're 74. You're in amazing good shape. You're a really still attractive woman. You're obviously, you've been talking for now. You're very sexual. And, um, you know, you're... 
why not go and have sex? I mean, you're going to live forever. Your husband's been gone for years. I know he wouldn't mind. He just want you to be happy. And uh, darn it, she didn't. <laughs> yeah, I got some. Bit. She told all her friends, my astrologer told me to get laid. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, you know. Uh, but I like seeing spirit coming in here and basically telling both of you to, you know, focus on each other. Focus on uh, yourselves, this relationship, this romance, and feel the fire. I mean, your person's coming from a difficult place. I mean, you've been through a lot if you have this tower. Uh, this may have happened suddenly to your marriage. Like, I'm guessing your partner uh, maybe had no clue. He probably had no clue until this kind of hits you, right? Out of left field. This is milk. Trust me. Mm. I wish it was a, a white Russian, really. <laughs> but no. Milk for some odd reason. So now I'm going to look at the advice from Spirit. And just put a little energy on it. You know, another kind of complex relationship. Get a lot of those now. Libra, Mercury, retrograde. See my readings up there posted from the weekend on my site for each sign about the Mercury retrograde uh, person on your mind. Could be helpful in uh, sorting through all this. Um, I'm not, I don't think this here is the person that's on your mind, but it'll bear relevance, uh, emotional, spiritual, uh, um, approach to that mercury retrograde energy so let's see here this is advice for the relationship as a whole two of swords wow this is um let me look at my outcome here to go with this in the ace of cups wow okay this is going to be a little weird so this is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. It's at the crux and the core of the heart spread here. When I put these down, we'll have the uh, sh rough shape of a heart, okay? And this is, I've seen this before, and I've felt it before. You guys are gonna come together and you need some time alone, passionate time. There's talk, there's negative emotions, there's people, and you guys don't deserve that and you don't need that and you need this is like third house stuff if you look at your composite relationship chart i bet you're going to have something significant going on in the third like by the sun or the sun and venus and i'm usually see them together sun and mercury you know that kind of energy and it creates this kind of bubble relationship your uh, first meeting chart may have you know the sun in the third house uh wouldn't be um impossible so um, you've got the Ace of Cups for the outcome. This is the start of a brand new relationship. Ace of Cups is like what you want as an outcome of the heart spread. It's like, it's just about the ideal outcome. We talk about a new uh, relationship, which I think is what you have here. This is nuptials, this could be marriage. This is both people being truly in love and saying it, putting it out there, offering up the cup. I love you. Um, but you need to protect yourself, uh, both of you, that's how I'm reading this, both of you have energy that you need to protect yourself from, and I mean, I feel like you kind of need to cloister, whatever that means, however you can do it, uh, you need to move in together, move into another area of town, don't uh, socialize maybe with your normal friends for a minute, and find some new people or just spend time with each other going into a terribly romantic time of the year here scorpio i'm in cancun mexico but um it's well oh, it's romantic here all the time <laughs> well i'm here no uh, but up you know in the states and canada even you know the chill is in the air that kind of thing um so i see this being a very good outcome and my sense too by this is like you know you want to give everyone as little information as you can. This is very important for both of you. Give all. I'm not saying to be shady. It has to be what resonates with you. But are, I, I came up an adult show alcoholic after much therapy, and it really was hard for me to grasp that I am allowed to say no for any reason whatsoever, and I don't even have to explain it. You know, if you're my loved one, you're my lover, you're my child, or something, my best friend. Yeah, I'm going to feel like, but even then, I don't have to do it right away. I can say, no, I just, no, period. Don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, so you can say no to these people. And, you know, you don't have to put anything on Facebook. You don't have to make any explanations. 
Um, just talk to your best friends and kind of protect yourself a little bit from poor communication, lies, this kind of thing. And I get this sense of disengage, disengage, disengage. If somebody baits you, either one of you, and says, what's going, really going on with you guys? And oh my God, just like, I don't want to talk about it or however you want to deal with it, block or I don't know. You know, I just think it's going to go a lot better. And the important part of this here, it's not that you just get to check into a motel with get a lot of towels and fuck each other for a week. It's the idea that you're going to really talk to each other now, really engage each other about this tough stuff, you know. Um, like, it's, it, that's part of what, like, you're not, here's the thing. You're not going to be talking to your people about this tough shit with you guys. And they're not going to be talking to their people about this tough shit with you guys. You guys are going to be talking to each other about this tough shit with you guys. Hopefully somewhere really cool and romantic where you are fucking each other's brains out for weeks. And really having a great time. You can do both. <laughs> Scorpio, I think you get this more than any other sign. You have to do both. You should do both. Go deep. Go hard. Go soul or go home. Ride or die. You know? And that's how I see it. So four pentacles even. I'll take that bottom of the deck and read that lightly. Withdraw your information. Withdraw your energy. Uh, everything from other people. And focus on this ace of cups. This cup. Ah, thank you guys.